God bless you. Welcome. This is Michelle Donatian, and we're on day 26 of the 40 day jump start. I'm excited to be here with you today. We have this at a special time this evening. I'm not quite sure what time it is where you are, but it is Sunday. And Sunday is a day that we want to begin to plan the rest of our week. So I'm going to open up in prayer. And then what we're going to do is talk for just a few short minutes about what you're going to do for this week. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for each one. I ask you, Lord God, that you would minister to each one here. Let this word touch the hearts of your people. Cause each one, Lord God, to produce what you've called them to carry out today, tonight, tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, over the next 10 years, Father God, and in their lives. And we say thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give you glory and honor, and we ask you, Lord God, that you would cause us to be men and women after your own heart. Men and women after your own heart. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Well, the very first thing that I want you to say is to pray. I want to say to you is to pray over your week. This is going to be short, so make sure you got your notebook out. Pray over your week. Pray that the Lord God would give you wisdom about what you're going to do for tomorrow, for each of these days, Monday through Saturday, up until Sunday. Glory be to God. Even until Sunday, so that you have your whole week planned out. Sit down and take some time. Take a half an hour, you know, to plan out the week. It doesn't mean that you're going to plan it out in every single detail, but definitely plan out tomorrow in more detail. The rest of the week, you can make a big picture plan, and each night before you sit before you go to bed, plan out each of the night or each of the days the day before. But pray over your week. That's really what the Lord has really impressed upon my heart to tell you. Pray over your week. Pray that the Lord God would lead you, that he would guide you, that he would give you wisdom, that you would carry out exactly what he said, that you would have wisdom to do it, that you would have resources to do it, that God would give you all that you needed. When, who was it? Not Samuel. I don't know why I said Samuel. Solomon prayed and asked the Lord God for wisdom in his dreams. The Lord God granted that and gave him more wisdom than anybody ever had, more riches, more, you, you know the story. Pray over your week, plan out your week, and I will see you tomorrow on day 27, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you for joining me. And I want you to join the community. Like, subscribe, click on the notifications button. So tomorrow morning, we are off to the races. God bless you. Shalom.